Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to speed up your process for taking smart notes inside of MEM. If you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to check out our free course on how to take better book notes that will help you remember what you've learned and build a library of wisdom and knowledge that's always at your fingertips, easy to retrieve, and will help you to maximize your creative output. On one of my previous videos for taking smart notes, someone actually said that the process seems really tedious and time consuming. And while there is a bit of truth to this, there's actually a really simple way to speed up the process for taking your smart notes. First, we need to revisit our workflow for taking smart notes. And for those of you who aren't familiar, with the concept of smart notes. Let me recap how it works. When you take smart notes, there are three main types of notes, fleeting notes, literature notes, and permanent notes. And the first step of taking smart notes is to take your fleeting notes in a notebook. So while you're reading, you'll take fleeting notes and capture whatever thoughts occur to you uh, in a notebook with the following format. You're gonna write down a page number and the thought that occurs to you. It's super simple. Now, step two is where you're going to write down your literature notes. And this is actually what ends up speeding up the process a lot. You're going to end up writing all of your literature notes on one page and your fleeting notes actually form the basis for your literature notes. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to create a mem and the title of the mem doesn't actually matter all that much because everything you capture on this page will eventually be a new mem. But if you want to, you could call this, for example, literature notes for the title of this book. Now, instead of creating a separate mem for each liter note, literature note, what you're going to do is you're going to use a header for the literature notes. And under the header, you're going to rewrite the insights in your own words. So the format is exactly the same as it would be for any of your other literature notes. Basically, it's one idea, one quote from the source and the source that inspired the idea and a link to the original source. And the third step is to push each header into a new mem. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the header for your literature note, and you're going to push each note into a new mem, then copy and paste the rest of the note into the new mem. So let's actually go into an example of how this works. So right now I am reading my friend Ryan Holiday's new book, Courage is Calling, which just came out this week. And because it's a Ryan Holiday book, I would recommend that you all buy it. It's a phenomenal book so far. So I wanted to create my literature notes for Courage is Calling. And the way I did this is instead of creating a new mem every single time I wanted to create a literature note, you can see here that I put them all into one. For example, this is a literature note that says fear determines what is and isn't possible. So I'm going to rewrite this in my own words as we would any other literature note. And so we rewrite this in our own words. And normally I would have the quote right here accessible to me. I haven't imported them from Readwise yet. And then what you're gonna do is you'll just put in the quote that inspired that source. But the key here really is batch processing. So what you're basically doing by doing this is you're actually separating the workflow out into the task of capturing your notes uh, or capturing the insight and rewriting it in your own words and formatting it, which makes the process about a thousand times more efficient than it would be if you were just creating notes. So basically what we'll do is we'll push this into a new mem. And then all we're going to do is we are going to copy and paste this into here like this. And whenever you're ready, you can actually put in the quote that the source came from or the idea was inspired by. And instead of having to do all of this one by one, what ends up happening is you're able to create these notes much faster than you would if, for example, every time you wanted to create a literature note, you created a new mem because it's all in one page. So you can spend the bulk of your time writing the notes. So let me just recap really quick. Let's just, you know, take one example. So let's say I have a new, you know, uh, note that I want to add as a literature note. We'll call this the heading for the literature note. And then I can basically just copy and paste this as the format right here with my tags. And then I can write the insight. So we'd call this the insight from this literature note.
And then once you're done taking all of your literature notes, you can start to push each one into a new mem like this by just highlighting the text of the header and then copying and pasting all of this. And so what this ends up doing is it just streamlines the entire workflow for taking smart notes and makes you about a thousand times more efficient. It reduces all the context shifting, like going back and forth between notes, having to type up your links all and over and over again. So basically you end up you know, being able to use all of your tags and everything else to completely streamline this process. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the concept of smart notes, make sure you check out the video that I created on how to take smart notes in the tutorial there.